what I have here is a very super funky bass that a friend of mine owns. It's uh, Brina Healy, the inventor of the pick slinger. And this is a really interesting bass that she had that we're going to bring to the NAM show, uh, the winter 2018 NAM show. There's no name on the headstock. There's no serial number. If you look at the back of the headstock, there's no serial number, nothing. There's no printing on anything. It's just a wacky, wacky instrument. It Obviously, it looks like a Gibson Les Paul kind of a thing, uh, bass, of course. I think it looks great. It's very 60s, kind of that wacky, weird, kind of out there 60s thing. It has a really interesting rosewood bridge, and it's like a floating bridge. It's just sitting there, so you can adjust the intonation and things. Uh, it needed to be adjusted, and it's right up against this knob here, and it really could, to be intonated properly, could go back a tiny bit more, but the knob's in the way. So I don't know if that's just uh, a design issue or whatever. Uh, I haven't put a ton of effort into the bass, just I wanted to get it up and running so that we could bring it to demo the Pixlinger uh, in Anaheim. But this could definitely be adjusted a little bit better. Uh, it's a rosewood base, and then there's the rosewood top, the bridge part here, and little adjustable wheels to raise and lower, and the little trapeze tailpiece and all of that. Uh, really funky looking, uh, like PAF kind of looking covered humbucker Gibson looking things. I haven't opened them up. It's not noisy, so I'm guessing they are actually humbucking pickups. It's not picking up a lot of buzz. Uh, it is interesting that the screw pull pieces are both the same direction. Usually uh, once flipped with a, a Les Paul a Gibson style guitar. Uh, one has the pull pieces on one side and the other on the other side. Uh, it has like this floating uh, pick guard on like a weird little thing with like bolts and screws and adjustments. It's interesting. I like the binding. One, two, the three ply binding. It's all aged nicely. Weird little inlays and stuff. Uh, the neck is kind of thick. But it's nice. It feels okay. It's not super slim and fast like, say, a Precision Jazz, uh, like a uh, Fender Jazz Bass. But it's pretty cool. The body, I don't know if you can see it. There's like a line here. It's like a pancake kind of uh, construction, it looks like. And if we look at the back... Uh, if we look in here, this here looks like it might be mahogany, the wood. It's not focusing very well. And it's a semi-hollow design. The top, looking at it from the back, it's definitely some sort of a, a ply, multi-ply kind of a thing. Probably, it looks like maple or possibly birch ply, I don't know. But it's something. And if we go to the front and tap on it, You can hear how it's all hollow right there. Of course, the strings are vibrating. Here, there's like a solid piece, and then it's hollow. So it's like a semi-hollow uh, design type of a thing, but with no F-holes and stuff, which I think looks pretty sharp. So let's see how it sounds. So Brina had told me that the pickups were uh, pretty, I, I'm sorry, not the pickups, the uh, electronics were pretty wacky, completely whacked. So uh, there was a couple loose wires. I soldered some things together. Uh, we're on a little bit of a time crunch, so we need to just get this up and running. So as of right now, the way it's wired, and all I did was, it was really a ground wire, and one of the wires going to the output. 
It's not like I rewired all the controls. They were already all soldered together. Uh, it seems like the only thing that's working is the um, bridge, the treble pickup. This is the volume for it, and this is the tone for it. So that seems to be all that's working. These aren't really doing much of anything. Uh, this one here is pretty much solid, stuck. I don't know what's going on. And the pickup selector switch seems to really do nothing at all. Uh, but with that being said, uh, I would love to rewire the whole thing and get it all up and running. But with that being said, it sounds really cool. It's a very um, 60s kind of semi-hollow kind of a tone to it. Uh, a nice solid sounding bass. It sounds really good. Capacitor probably could be changed because it doesn't really change. You can definitely hear that it changes, but I don't think it changes a whole lot. Changes a little bit. But uh, it's, it's a nice sounding bass. It sounds really cool. It looks great. I think it looks amazing. I have no idea what model it is, or even who made it, or anything. There's no information anywhere inside it, not even a, a model number, absolutely nothing. But uh, judging from the the finish on it and stuff, the way it's it, there's some like checking and stuff on it, and the construction of it, it's. Definitely not a newer bass. Uh, it's definitely an older bass. My guess is some something in the 70s. But if anybody out there has any idea what kind of a bass this is, I would love to know. It's a really cool bass. And uh, maybe I'll, after we get back from the show in California, hawk in the pick slinger, then uh, maybe I'll buy some uh, components and stuff and rewire this up and get it all up and running to its former glory. But the pickup's really cool. It looks awesome. I love the looks of it. It has that like black beauty tuxedo kind of Les Paul look and with the uh, binding that's all yellowed and everything with age, it has a really classy look to it and it has a really cool classy bass sound to it. So if anybody knows, by all means, let me know in the uh, comment section. Thank you.